really good football team we played tonight, University of Alabama. Uh, I tell you, they, they did everything you're supposed to do. They were a big physical football team. They played well. Uh, I thought they were very cohesive with what they did. Uh, you know, they got after it pretty good. And, uh, you know, so hats off to them. They're, uh, you know, want to know. And, and they got a great staff, a great team, and I expect great things out of them this year. I, I think they're going to really challenge a lot of people. Uh, as far as our football team, you know, at times I thought we did some good things. Uh, I thought we moved the ball well, pretty good in the first half. Obviously, the turnovers cost us with the interceptions. Uh, you know, defensively, we had way too many explosive plays, as we all know, in the first half. Defense settled down a little bit in the second half. And started to find their group a little bit. And offensively, we just couldn't, couldn't get it going in the second half. Good football team we played, and man, looking forward to watching those guys play the rest of the year. That's a question. Right, Tyson, just uh, want to get your view on, on those two early interceptions by, by you guys. Um, were they just kind of breakdowns, or were they just good plays on the Alabama side? I thought the, the first one uh, TJ had, you know, I, I got to look at the film. I haven't seen the film, but it looked like he kind of forced it into coverage there. The second one down there in the red zone, I don't necessarily think it was TJ's fault. We were throwing an end cut. And, and we didn't come out of it fast or roll out of it fast, so it kind of, you know, threw it off a little bit where the safety could, could jump in front of it. I just thought it was, it was a misfortune of, you know, you know happening for him on the second one. Um, you know, settled down, moved the ball, had some good fourth down conversions, got in the red zone, but, you know, Alabama did their thing. Excellent defense. Had to pass off to the defense. They were fantastic tonight. They kept us out of the end. How about the timing on uh, switching to Cade and the quarterback? Um, was that performance based, and what does that do? Both no, I, I actually thought TJ, you know, for under the circumstances in the first half, I thought TJ did well. I really did. You know, the two interceptions were unfortunate for sure, but I thought he made some, some really good plays and, and under a lot of pressure, under a lot of duress. I thought our guys, our receivers, stepped up in the first half and made plays. Um, I just wanted, you know, like I talked about, both those quarterbacks that earned the right to play. I felt like, you know, coming in, we were, we were way behind and we wanted to change some things up. TJ totally understands it. He gets it. You know, we wanted to give Kate an opportunity to go out there and see what he could do against the quality of the opponent. Coach, you know, despite the result, there's a couple guys that had some pretty positive days. I want those to be a lot of young. How about his day a little bit and what he's going to come out with this season? Yeah, he's, he had a, you know, a couple nice runs, you know, he's kind of our, you know, solid rock that, you know, we can trust and they put out there, um, you know, in a, in a day where there wasn't a ton of positives, to, you know, I thought he was, you know, did all he could do. I just did a lot of other guys. A lot of other guys played really hard, felt like their team, they, they competed as hard as they could compete. You know, we just got out man tonight, got out played. And, there's a lot of guys like Elijah that, that really just kept grinding and kept playing. And we'll learn a lot from the tape, you know, and then we'll get ready to play our next home game. We'll be excited to get back home and play our first home game. Yeah, is this one that, that you really do want to break down or more collectively just sort of flush it out of the system and forget about it? And move on no, I think, you, I think you look at the film and you really evaluate it hard. Uh, you know, your first game, you, really got to take a good look at it. You got to evaluate personnel. We, we played a lot of guys in this game. You got to see if, if there needs to be some change ups there. Because I feel like, you know, going into the game, there was a lot of pieces to the puzzle we were trying to figure out. And so uh, we got to evaluate the film hard. We got to get better from it. Uh, we got to figure out, okay, what did we do really well? And how do we build on that? And what are the things we need to, to cut and, and, not, and not do? And, Try to help our guys, you know, the, the 11 guys you put out there to play, give them the best chance for success. I think we'll have a good football team. Uh, I think our guys get it. I think they get the big picture tonight. We just got out and just a really good football team. But I told them in the locker room, I said, hey, you flip the switch, you clear it. We got a lot of hard work ahead of us. Uh, but I'm excited to get ready to go play our first home game with CKU. We need to, it's going to be a dog fight. It's going to be a, a game that we got to really play well to go win. But looking forward to getting home and playing that game. Coach, as you know, this is TJ's third time playing Alabama at his third different school. Somewhat of an unconventional situation, but 
What did that experience give your team in practice this past week and as you got ready for this game, and how did the defense ultimately challenge your team? Well, I thought, uh, you know, looking in TJ's eyes really the whole game, I felt, felt like he was pretty calm. He had a veteran look about him. Um, he, even the mistakes he had with the interceptions, you know, he, he got it. Um, you know, so really wasn't concerned there. You know, it was nice to have a veteran guy out there that's had experience with Alabama. Um, you know, the, the defense is side of things, we, we just got to get better and not give up the explosive plays more than anything. There's way too many explosive plays in the first half. All right, guys, thank you very much. Appreciate it.